I think my wife is having an affair. My name is Paul Friedman. I am the founder of the Marriage Foundation. And this is probably the most difficult situation that we ever run into. Um, it can be worse. You could know for certain that she's having an affair. And in those cases, um, I'm going to be very candid. We do not have a great success rate in terms of bringing her back to you. And I began doing these kind of things 20 years plus ago. And in the beginning, I took the hardest cases because I wanted to prove my processes. So I would meet with wives. I would talk to them about what they were doing to their children. I would assure them that their husband would change. But it's not the nature of a woman. Once she leaves in her heart, once she leaves her husband and ties up with someone else, it's just not in their nature. There are no absolutes, but it's not really in their nature to come back. So the question is, what do I do? And because you're not sure what you would do is you would strive to heal the marriage by healing yourself as a first order of business. And hopefully there will be some disruption in her affair and she will see you as the better option. So that's on paper. That's the theory. Has it worked in the past? It's hard to tell. You know, our instrument for helping people in these situations, for helping men, is a course for men. And as men are taking the course, they're writing into the counselors because it's part of it. And so we do see progress. But what we work on is not the progress of the marriage because that is incidental. What we work on is helping you as an individual progress within yourself. You have to get rid of the anger. It's got to be 100% eliminated. You have to learn to understand how women think, how they feel, how they behave, so you can be of more service to your wife. You have to learn how to communicate differently because women communicate quite differently from men. Your expectations need to shift. Right now, all of your expectations probably have to do with your marriage, your wife's behavior towards you. No one ever told you before you got married that the focus should be on improving yourself, making yourself a better man. And so that's what we work on. It's, and it's not, how do I say this? It's not this vague ideal of being a better man, it is a very succinct concept of working on yourself in stages number one, to gain control over your own mind, to understand and notice your own reactions, your outer and your inner reactions to day-to-day -day things in life, teaching you how to tap into your own heart, which is the location of all joy and happiness. So the process can be difficult for many men because men, we are not used to going within. We're used to dealing with things because our nature based on our gender is to protect, is to set up a perimeter and make sure nothing comes in to hurt us and our family. 
So we don't make you feel guilty about who you are. That's not what it's about. We take from now and move you forward. And that's really all you can do. If you try to interfere, if you bring this up with your wife and you say, I think you're having an affair, you, you can kiss your marriage goodbye. I'll have to say 99% of the time because there are no absolutes. You don't want to challenge her choices. She made them. She's probably harboring some guilt, but in the balance, she has done what she has done. And it has not been interfered with in a positive way from you by your being this amazing man. And this part may hurt a little, or she never would have been been involved and in, she would never would have considered having an affair with someone else. So it's important for you to try your best if you have children. If you don't have children, it's a whole nother ball game. You try to cut your losses and move forward. You can do whatever you want, but this, this is our advice to you. Go ahead and get hold of the course for men and try to affect change within yourself so that there is a possibility. Write into one of our counselors, it's a free service, and subscribe to the videos. You might want to learn as much about marriage as you possibly can at this point. Most of us get married without knowing anything about marriage. On that note, blessings to you, blessings to your wife, and blessings to your family. Take care.